Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about the constructibles that are available in the build mode of Farming Simulator 25. When Farm Sim was announced that it was going to have buildable farmhouses, I think the internet went wild. At least Farm Sim fans went wild. It's been something that I've wanted for a long time, buildable buildings. Specifically, I've always wanted to build out my farm this way. Now we have farmhouses and garages in the base game. We also have a few small sheds in the base game that are buildable. Modders, I know you're going to hear me. I know you've already planned it out. We're going to have buildable everything, I'm sure, once the mods start rolling in. And it's just going to be an absolutely fabulous time for sure. But for now, we have five buildable farmhouses, four farm garages, and five farm sheds and that's what we're, we're going to build out today i've already pre-placed all of the construction sites down here so we can talk about what goods need to be delivered and then i thought we would just fast forward one month at a time and see how long it takes to build each and every one of these items now if you are playing on riverbend springs well you may have already noticed that the starting farm over here has a buildable shed already placed, just waiting for you to start its construction. And it is going to be located right here beside the bees. Now, this is going to build one of the small sheds that we're going to talk about and show today as well. So you can start getting your feet wet a little bit with respect to these constructibles and buildables by building that one out. Now back over here to our farm houses. We're going to come in here to build mode. We're going to go to our first area here, the one that has sheds, silos, extensions, etc. And we're going to tab over to constructibles. And we have five different farmhouses. The first one being this log cabin. Really nice log cabin. We have a sleep trigger. We have a wardrobe trigger. And from what I understand, we have a, an interior that we can actually walk around and explore. So this will be built right here at this construction site. This farmhouse is going to cost you $1,000 to place, and then the rest of the cost is going to be in making or delivering or buying the products to produce this. We're going to need 11,000 wooden beams, 14,000 planks, 2,000 boards, 8,000 units of cement bags, 4,000 units of prefab walls, and 6,000 units of furniture to build out this farmhouse. Our second farmhouse is this interesting silo conversion. It's again going to be $1,000 to purchase. We're going to need 3,000 wooden beams, 15,000 planks, 4,000 boards, 5,000 cement bags, 8,000 prefab walls, and 6,000 units of furniture. Our third farmhouse is this little white job. Get $1,000 to put down the construction site. And we need to also deliver then 6,000 wooden beams, 11,000 planks, 5,000 boards, 29,000 cement bags, 16,000 cement blocks, and 6,000 units of furniture. Our fourth farmhouse is a little bit bigger of a job. It is going to be 5,000 wooden beams, 12,000 planks, 6,000 boards, 29,000 cement bags, 15,000 cement bricks, and 6,000 units of furniture. And then our final buildable farmhouse. It's this nice wooden sided job with a semi-flat roof. Again, $1,000 to place the construction site, 5,000 wooden beams, 15,000 planks, 5,000 boards, 8,000 prefab walls, 2,000 roof plates, and 6,000 units of furniture. So clearly, we're going to need access to a sawmill to build out these houses. We're also going to need access to a cement factory for the cement bags, cement bricks, and the roof plates. As such, we're going to need a nice steady supply of both logs and stones. 
what do we need for our four buildable garages? Well, for the first garage, and all of these are kind of the this block affair. They really look like they've come from the Zilonka map. So, buildable garage one. It's going to require 3,000 wind beams, 16,000 planks, 5,000 boards, 14,000 units of cement bags, 1,000 units of cement bricks, and 5,000 units of roof plate. Our second shed, a little bit longer of an affair. Well, it is going to require 5,000 wind beams, 34,000 boards, or planks, sorry, 9,000 boards, 17,000 cement bags, 12,000 cement bricks, and 6,000 roof plates. Now, it's got me curious. Maybe I did a typo when I was writing down these filled quantities. It's possible garage number one needs 10,000 cement bricks. Because 1,000 cement bricks just doesn't sound like enough. Our third building here. Well, it is going to require 3,000 wooden beams, 23,000 planks, 8,000 boards, 14,000 units of cement bags, and 10,000 cement bricks, and 5,000 roof plates. Then our fourth and final garage. It is going to require 3,000 wooden beams, 10,000 planks, 9,000 boards, 14,000 bags of cement, 10,000 cement bricks, and 6,000 roof plates. But that's not everything that we can build. We also have some buildable small sheds. Now, they're going to be found in a different section of the build mode. We're going to come down here where our fences are. We're going to come all the way over to others. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to these nice, bright wooden buildings. And this is one of the buildings that we can build out. I believe this is the building that is on the starting farm, if I am recalling correct. This would be building number three. Number four. And you may notice that this one looks an awful lot like this one over here. It's just the one that's pre-placed on the map is weathered. And then we have our fifth building, which looks like that. So what is required to build out all of these? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Small farm shed number one is 5,000 planks, 2,000 bags of cement, 2,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. A second farm shed is 5,000 planks, 2,000 units of cement, 2,000 units of wooden beams, and 1,000 units of boards. Our third shed is slightly different. 4,000 planks, 2,000 cement, 2,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. Our fourth shed, 5,000 planks, 2,000 cement, 2,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. And then our fifth and final shed is going to be 8,000 planks, 3,000 bags of cement, 3,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. Now, an interesting aside to those five sheds. You're going to find, as I mentioned, various models of them scattered around the map in kind of this old, worn level. These sheds... Well, they are going to be sadly prone to tornado damage. Okay? So if you find these kind of scattered around, they're all over the place. Well, if a tornado happens to come, and that shed happens to be within the pathway of that tornado, well, I think what you're going to find is uh, the tornado is going to win. So, what I don't know yet, and I haven't been able to experience a tornado, is that 
is that repairable? Can you now come and repair that with either all of or part of the goods that it takes in order to build out a new one? That's for someone else to find out because I don't know at this point. I've not experienced a tornado in game yet, so I just don't know. But uh, if you do know, let me know down in the comments below and I'll pin that comment. All right, so I have filled up all of these construction sites with the required inputs and they are all now pumping away as we can hear. We're going to speed up time and well, we'll just watch this stuff get built. I'll uh, come back in a month and I'll let you know. Good morning. Construction crews have been busy literally all night long and boy, they have made some progress indeed. So we have our buildable log cabin. Less than 24 hours. First floor is done, the foundation's up. We have our silo house. It looks like the foundation's down, the first level. The exterior is coming in. It looks like it's being insulated and everything very nicely. Here we have our third farmhouse. This one's going to require a lot of bricks and block. We have the foundation down there as we do for our third house and our fifth house. Well, I guess our fourth and fifth house. Same has to be said for our garages. They are building out. Well, we just got a little low row of bricks. Hop in here for this one. So they're coming along nicely. And then as you can see off in the distance, well, the buildable sheds are moving along very quickly. This one is behind because I had miscalculated out the number of cement bags needed. I had to add a thousand liters of cement bags. So it is a little bit behind, but it should build out about basically as fast as these. And they're just about done. They have maybe, maybe two more build stages to go by this afternoon. All of these should be done, and when they're done, well, the triggers will go away, and then the, the warning tape around them will also vanish. Let's fast forward to, well, this afternoon, see what things look like. All right, we're starting to lose daylight on the end of our second month here, and, well, we are now working on, I guess, the second floor walls. And we're going to be, I guess, putting in our stairs soon and working then on our second floor interior walls and roof. We've got our first floor walls done, and now we're working up on our second level here on our silo house. Finally, we have some block down for our first small, tiny block house. We've got block down for our third house. And our fourth house, well, it's, it's, it's still sitting here. Um, coming along slowly. We can see here. So our fourth farmhouse. Right, we can see what's in storage. We can see what's required for the next step. 4,004 cement bags required for the next step. It has 4,004 cement bags. So, it should be good. There's nothing waiting on it. We just saw it tick down 4,003. So it's still working. It's just slower to build out than these others. We have our sheds, our garages, all working out well over here. This one is slowly coming together as well. We are just needing maybe wooden beams. So periodically, due to a rounding error, you might need less than one, or you might need exactly one of something in order to finish it out. So, yeah, you're going to need to bring a whole pallet to finish this out. But it should give you money back for whatever was left over and basically act as if it was being sold. So I'll take care of this off camera. But we've got our other sheds here.
built out completely. So let's take a look at these small sheds. And for the most part, these are usable. We can go inside. We can store small things in here. Again, I believe this is the shed that is built out on the main farm. This one may be the most usable of all of them. And then we have a little barn here. This one could be used definitely to store small things. I mean, maybe as long as the twister doesn't hit, maybe you could put bales in here. Maybe that would protect them. I don't know. When they say bales need to be stored, does that mean they need to be in bale storage or simply in a building? Good morning. It is day three. So the start of month three, or should I say the morning of month three. Our final small shed has now been built out. Looks really nice. And our garages, our farm machine sheds are coming along nicely as well. So I don't know if we've got maybe another month on these, month and a half. And then our final farmhouse that we hadn't really seen much progress in at all it's starting to come up so it took a long time I guess to do a lot of the woodwork once the uh, foundation was down but it is now moving along we have our block house coming along well our smaller block house. And then I feel like the silo here might be the first to finish out. The second story is in. We're about to put the roof on. And our log cabin is progressing nicely as well. So let's go ahead and fast forward through till till about dark on our third month and see where we are with our progression as we close out our daylight in our third full month of construction our log cabin is nearly complete we're gonna have to bring in some furniture soon but it is going to be i think complete first soon after that we're going to have our silo house i believe finishing up the other three houses well they are quite a biz away still kind of interesting how fast the first two have gone up yet these three they're dragging behind quite a bit now, as far as our farm barns go our farm garages they're coming along nicely as well and I would suspect maybe maybe another month and a half for these on average just kind of guessing on that but yeah time got a little bit away from me and uh it went and got dark pretty darn quick but that's well that's kind of expected given this time of year so uh see you in the morning these two just might be finished out and we can go inside and take a tour then i feel like this is the morning of month four and regardless of which month it is It'll be a lot easier for you all to keep count than me because of the time progression, of course, in the video. But at any rate, this morning, our first house is built. The silo. So that is faster than the log cabin, apparently. We have our wardrobe trigger here at this door. And we can go inside these. Why can't we go inside the houses that are replaced? I don't know. 
First door to our left is a nice kitchen area. First door to the right. Oh, it's a bathroom. We open up to a living space here. Uh, nice little bedroom. Or not bedroom, a sitting room. Is that... I guess that's some sort of stove. Can we go upstairs? Well, indeed we can. And the whole second floor is a bedroom. With a skylight. So now open out onto a porch. Two porches. Not a bad little building. And the fact it came out first, right? I guess if you're looking for... Uh, looking to get under roof soon, then this is going to be the one you want to build out. Our sleep trigger is over here on this side. As far as our front entrance goes. Everything else is coming along very well. Our log cabin is clearly going to be our second house to get fully built out. The block houses, they're coming along. But I feel they're still going to be several months away from completion. Our garages are also coming along quite well. So they should be done fairly soon as well. We'll see where we are tonight. Here we are toward the evening of our fourth month. Our log cabin is nearly done. I think the furniture is still being moved in, but that's just about it. We're starting to get roof up here on our third small block house. We're starting to get the roof framing up for our two-story block house and our third-story wooden house. Well, we're starting to get the trusses up as well here for the roof there. As far as our garages go, they look nearly done. We've got a little bit of work we need to do with respect to our windows and doors. But uh, they look to be fairly near completion. With our largest being our garage 2, it is the furthest behind. So let's see if we can finally get into our log cabin in month 5. Well, it took us 5 months, but we finally have our log cabin fully built. We have our sleep trigger up here on our door with the porch. Let's go on inside and, well, see what we have. First door to our right. Oh, it's a bedroom. First door to our left is a, ooh, a really nice sitting room with a fireplace. I don't know who put in the lighting here, but man, that hangs a little low. So door to our right, we have a little... This pantry, sitting room. Nice open kitchen, dining room. Where our wardrobe trigger is going to be. Oh, upstairs we have a very nice bedroom. Bathroom at the end of the hall. Another bedroom in here. And then 
kind of a upstairs sitting room area. Open to the uh, stair area. We have a first floor bathroom. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the farmhouse. Pretty, pretty darn nice. And again, I believe it took what six months. Are we at six months now to build this out? If my counting's off, I'm gonna put I'll put a number up on the screen. How about the rest of these houses? Well, this one is coming along quite well. It might be the next one that we get to move into. Block house is getting some roof being put up. Still need some interior walls. This one also looks to be just about done. As far as our farm garages go, well, looks like we're building out our doors and windows and such on all four of these garages. So they are nearing completion as well. Nice. Well, I'll see you tonight. Nothing fully built yet. I feel we got a couple houses that are very, very near completion. The big block house is furthest behind of all. I also have a feeling that this shed here will be done come morning. It basically looks done. So I guess it's just kind of completing out some things. And then this shed is clearly going to be the tail end, Charlie, of the entire project. Uh, this one will probably come in next, as well as this one then. So let's see if we are lucky enough to have any more houses we can go into. Let's see if we're any more lucky. Let's see if we are lucky enough to have another house built come morning. Good morning. We have a new day and a new farmhouse that we can go into. So that's always a good day. We have our sleep trigger outside of this door. Just going to make our way in to a nice little kind of foyer little area to our right. A little sitting room. Coming into a fairly open concept kitchen. And a spiral staircase going upstairs. Let's find door number one. A small lavatory. Let's make our way up the spiral stair. Oh, another nice little kind of home office area. A little sitting area. Then a uh, nice patio. Little deck. I don't know if I'd want to have a glass door on my bedroom, but okay. Let alone a glass door on my bedroom to outside, but... And then we have the upstairs bathroom. Pretty nice little place. I was hoping to jump off the balcony, but nope. Yeah, wind our way back down. We also have another building complete in this farm garage. I thought we would be done this building fairly soon. So this is the garage that was built out first. This is also the last garage in the listing. 
pretty basic structure. Door on one end, and then nice long bay to store machinery and parts and whatever. Not a whole lot of doors to fabricate, and that's really why this shed over here is coming in so much slower. Is there's just a lot more doors to be fabricated. And well, they take they take time and they take a lot of resources. I feel that this will be the next building complete. Followed soon behind by our three bay garage shed there. And you can see how these houses are coming along. Everything's under roof. Just working on the interior structure. And I believe they started moving furniture into this one. So this one's probably nearing completion. So we're down to two houses to be built and one garage. So that's right, we have two garages that have now completed construction overnight, or I guess through the day. We have the three bay garage and the two bay garage that's behind me. So as I was mentioning earlier, the number of doors is definitely tied to the amount of time it takes to build this out. And then we have our two bay garage. right here so we're probably a good month or two away on getting this building built out just generally the time frame that things have taken and I feel that we are maybe gonna finish our smaller of the two houses overnight which would then just leave our larger house probably another maybe another month are so back because we still have yet to move in furniture here and it looks like we still have a fair minute no fair number of planks and log planks to uh to run through the production good morning good morning good morning good morning we have oh my gosh a twister in the forecast that's not good i hope it doesn't come and wipe out all the buildings that we are just getting about done built here. At any rate, I think maybe this one will be done possibly tonight. Maybe. Uh, we've got one more door to build out and then I guess some cleanup to do on this garage. And then it is moving day for the family that's moving into this big house. So that is good to see. We should be done this one here soon, too. Maybe just in time to, uh, to have it get destroyed by the Twister. Gosh, I hope not. Um, this might not be good. Kids, go! Move, go away! You're danger! 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 Oh no! My farm! My lovely, lovely farm! What is gonna happen? Are you just gonna destroy my one field? I mean, that, that would be... That would be okay, I guess. Don't take out my barn. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, at least the utility poles survive. Oh no, some trees are taken out. I hear destruction. Oh, there goes the sailboat. It's gone. 
Ah, uh, that's an insurance claim. If there ever was one. Batten down the hatches, barge. Well, I feel like it could have been so much worse. Ooh, and it's as quick as it came, as quick as it went away. Now, I mentioned that these barns, like, they got destroyed while well, this one lucked out. Man, right, right. Locked right out. And I guess this is where the twister formed, anyway. Ah, oh, well, it's always cool to see a twister, but not so cool to uh, potentially have damage as a result. Well, while we're here, let's just speed up time a little bit. Is this one about done? I mean, that would be cool. Nope. It's got one more cycle to go. Our farmhouse here has... Possibly one more cycle to go. Let's just see. It might... Close out. That might be stuff I had to bring here extra. So let's slow this down. And uh, see it tick down. And you'll be able to see what happens. Like I said, I had to deliver some things because they like, it was need zero amount of cement bags or I need one cement bag because of whatever rounding going on. There you go, boom, presto. We got our house built. All right, so let's go tour this. This is our last farmhouse to be built. Then that only leaves the one shed left to go. Very, very nice house in here. Look at this kitchen. I mean, I don't want to cook on this nice wooden, wooden stuff. Nice sitting room. A little lavatory off the back of the sitting room. Someone really needs to talk about who's hanging these light fixtures. Oh, we got a garage. Can we use this garage? Oh, um. Apparently it doesn't have a collision. So that's that's okay. Let's go upside upstairs. What a very open. Don't uh, sleepwalk. Nice little patio. That's definitely not the code. Another patio over here. And then we have our bedroom. This huge house with just one bedroom. What's up with that? And then we have our shed over here. The last thing yet to be produced or to be built. I've completely lost track of what month we're in at this point, so I was going to have to put a counter up on the video. And honestly, I think this one will probably be done overnight. So see you in the morning. 
Good morning on what might be our sixth or seventh month at this point. I don't know. I feel like it's been over half a year, but I don't think that we started in December. And since it's June, it must have only been approximately half of a year since we started. But our last garage is now built. All of our constructibles are now built. The four bay garage here took the longest. To build out due to the number of beams that it had to put in and the number of basically bay doors that it had to construct so let's come over here and just do a rundown once again building by building what is required approximately now I, apparently when i was scraping the xml's for the inputs i was a little off because a couple of these buildings needed roof plates that I didn't have listed, so I've updated my listing there. I've also updated my listing a couple other places where I was a little short on things, more than just that rounding error that I was mentioning earlier where you might come up and said, I need two of something. Well, th there's not in the XML, it doesn't say you need to supply 10,000 in two planks, right? It says you need to supply 10,000. Where does it get the two from? I, mathematical rounding errors. I don't know. Giants math. You figure it out. But at any rate, here we are with our log cabin farmhouse. I'm calling this Buildable Farmhouse 1 for simplicity. It's the first one in the list, after all. So we're going to need products from a sawmill and our cement factory and our carpentry factory. Because we need 11,000 wood beams, 14,000 planks, 2,000 boards... 8,000 units of cement, cement bags that is, 4,000 units of prefab walls, and 6,000 units of furniture to build this fabulous two-story log cabin. And then we have this interesting conversion rain bin farmhouse, two stories as well. Buildable farmhouse two is what I'm calling it. We're going to need again wooden beams of 3,000 units. 15,000 units of planks, 4,000 units of boards, 5,000 units of cement bags, 8,000 units of prefab walls, and 6,000 units of furniture. Moving on to our third buildable farmhouse. And this is one of the farmhouses I mentioned where I was missing the need for roof plates. We need 6,000 wooden beams, approximately 11,000 planks. 5,000 boards, 29,000 units of cement bags, 4,000 roof plates, 16,000 cement bricks, and 6,000 units of furniture. For our two-story block house, we're going to call this farmhouse number four. Well, we're going to need 5,000 wooden beams, 12,000 planks. 6,000 boards, 29,000 units of cement bags, 4,000 units of roof plate, 15,000 units of cement bricks, and 6,000 units of furniture. Then our final kind of European style farmhouse, well all of them maybe are a little bit European style other than the log house, we're going to call this farmhouse 5. We need 5,000 wooden beams, 15,000 planks, 5,000 boards, 8,000 prefab walls, 2,000 roof plates, 6,000 furniture, and 8,000 units, again, of cement bags. Coming over here to our farm garages, our machine sheds. We have garage number one, numero uno garage. Our two-bay garage, 3,000 units of wooden beams, 16,000 units of planks, 5,000 boards, 14,000 cement bags, 1,000, no, 10,000 cement blocks, and 5,000 roof plates. Our second building, and then this one was the longest to be constructed, our four-bay garage, well, it is going to be 7,000 wooden beams, 34,000 planks, 9,000 boards, 17,000 cement bags, 12,000 units of cement block, and 6,000 roof plates. 
in our third building to be built out. We have 3,000 wooden beams, 23,000 planks, 8,000 boards, 14,000 units of cement bags, 10,000 units of cement bricks, and 5,000 roof plates. The first garage to be built out because, well, it only has a few doors. It's going to be the last garage we talk about. Garage number four. 3,000 wooden beams, 10,000 planks, 9,000 boards, 14,000 cement bags, 10,000 cement blocks, and 6,000 roof plates. Then we move on to these small sheds. And these were the fastest to build out. Approximately one month, actually, or maybe a month and a half. We have our small shed number one, 5,000 planks, 2,000 units of cement, 2,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. Now, I'm numbering these one through five, basically in the order that they appear in the build mode. The second shed, 4,000 planks, 2,000 units of cement bags, 2,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. Farm shed three, probably my favorite of all four, or five. 4,000 planks, 2,000 units of cement bags, that is, 2,000 units of wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. Shed number four, 5,000 planks, 2,000 cement bags, 2,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. And then our largest of all of these little sheds is going to be farm shed number five. And we're going to say this one is going to need 8,000 planks, 4,000 cement bags, 3,000 wooden beams, and 1,000 boards. And that's it, folks. Those are all of the constructibles that are available in Farming Simulator 25 as the base game. Now, I just can't wait till we start to see modders drop with their own equivalent of these buildables and to see what kind of crazy and wacky ingredients they're going to have us need to collect in order to get these fine structures built out. Of the farmhouses, well, I'm kind of privy to the log cabin. But I do also like the kind of quirky nature of this silo house as well. Which do you like? Let me know down in the comments below. Which of these five farmhouses do you like? Are you going to build out an entire farm? Maybe with one of these brick houses and then those farm garage buildings? That would be pretty cool to build out. Take quite a long time and take a lot of resources, but it would be pretty cool nonetheless. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this concept of buildable structures in Farming Simulator 25. Do you want to see it expanded to buildable barns, buildable animal pens, buildable bale shelters, buildable silos to store your grain? Well, really, the sky's the limit. Until next time, happy farming.